Martin Brower, um, uh, a supply chain end-to-end -end logistics solution business. Uh, we're a global business with over 60 DCs in 18 countries across the world. And we've been around for a while, over half a century now. Yeah. I look after the UK and Ireland in particular, where we do over a quarter of a million deliveries just in that part of the world alone. Well, our delivery system is such that we do multi-temperature, multi-drop deliveries uh, for let's say, several different customers. I'm a head of scheduling for UK and Ireland, so I'm responsible for delivering uh, the most optimised schedules for both parts uh, of UK and Ireland. Uh, I also help out with the uh, other members in Martin Brower, such as France, and I've helped with the development of dynamic uh, scheduling in Singapore. Uh, but I'm also responsible for the Global Logistics Council reporting of the data on time performance for UK and Ireland. And I'm also responsible for benchmarking. So looking after benchmarking company ourselves using the several government bodies uh, throughout the UK. Competition is not, not least of all in the logistics business. And uh, traffic springs to mind um, as one of the, the most re more reasonable challenges. Um, certainly the Department of Transport reported that in the last two years there's been a four and a half percent increase in uh, road transport in the UK to the highest number of kilometres ever recorded at 505 billion kilometres. So that's a challenge, uh, meeting the demands of the customer, getting the products that, that they want, on time, given the restrictions with the, the traffic. I think customers today uh, require a higher level of service, um, and whereas in the past you could have uh, perhaps gotten away with a morning or an afternoon delivery, they don't want that, they want a, a, a closer time, they want an absolute time. And not only that, when you give a customer an absolute time of 8am, they expect you to be there at 8am. And of course the legislation uh, has changed over the years and coupled with the increase in transport we have also the legislation from the EU um, with the carbon reduction uh, and every time they bring out a new set of legislation they've got the 2020 rules or the 2050 rules the targets are always more and more challenging uh, and so there is a real challenge in itself so you've got to get to the customer on time with restricted traffic flows and reduce the CO2 at the same time. Today, you know, we can track every vehicle that we own. So every Martin Brower vehicle in the UK has a tracker fitted to it. And then that tracker system communicates with our routine scheduling systems. Uh, and we can, we can learn from delays. Uh, also, the routine scheduling system that we use is already equipped to uh, be aware of some of those delays because of the, uh, the certain packages which we have, like the in INRIX uh, road speeds, for example, helps to determine the road speeds in advance of the schedule. So it already knows that there's delays in certain parts of the country and it applies those. But it's learning as well. Uh, so we get information back. We learn information from the drivers themselves who come back and talk to us about specific difficult areas or roadworks or some temporary diversion for some reason, we can apply those within our systems and therefore we don't then have an ongoing problem with our customer and we can ensure uh, good delivery. For our customer, you know, a, a key influence in fact is that they wanted to be informed of where the vehicle is and whether it's running on time. We have Paragon uh, route and scheduling, uh, we have uh, multi-depot, so we use multi-depots in the UK, integrated fleets, we use multi-period planner. Multi-period planner is a strategic modelling tool. Uh, so it's not in everyday use, but it's a very, very useful tool. We have uh, street level mapping. Once again, m m very beneficial, especially if you're running dynamic routing systems where you can take different routes every day. So the enhanced mapping of the street level gives you much more accurate results. Uh, INRIX, we've already mentioned uh, the INRIX map, which is average road speed data. We also have in place the truck data. So that includes things like height and weight limits, 
uh, many years ago and this wasn't available, it, it did cause some problems when the drivers come back and said I had to take a 20 minute detour because there was a low bridge. Uh, and you know, with tr things like the truck data available, that will uh, make life a lot easier and give us much more accurate schedules and have less impacts on going to your deliveries. There's lots of different uh, solutions available. In fact, there's a lot more than I even imagined. And uh, certainly as a business, we tested uh, a number of packages. Uh, and they, they included things like how easy were they to use, uh, what the graphics like, um, and, and certainly, by no means least, what was the output, which was distinctly the best from our chosen uh, solution, which was Paragon. But one other thing you have to consider is the longevity of a product, because it's all right buying a product which is which is good, and maybe it may even be top of the road today, but where will it be in 10 years or 20 years? And the relationship that certainly I've had with, with Paragon over the last two decades is that we've worked together, uh, and whenever I need something or some development uh, that's not currently been available, quite often it's available in the next build. So Paragon is in a state of perpetual development. I don't see the end, you know, we're, we're on our latest build, 5.9, version 6 is coming, and there's new things in the pipeline after that. It's an investment, whichever solution you decide to opt for, it's an investment, but you know, it's more than that, I think. With myself, it's been more of a, a partnership, a relationship, a good relationship with, the, with this business. From a customer perspective, I think they say their number one KPI is on time. You know, they want the goods there, they want the goods that they ordered at the time they expected. Uh, but we've also seen changes in legislation uh, with the, the Euro 6 engines coming out uh, and also, once again, changes in CO2. And CO2 is, is also now a key KPI number uh, for most of our customers. It goes without saying that you know, trying to reduce cost comes directly as a result of reduced hours and kilometres. I think competition will remain with us forever. Uh, I think legislation, um, legislation perhaps that we don't, we're not even aware of today, but certainly I'm sure that they will include further reductions in CO2. Uh, and that's where Paragon comes in to help us to minimise our kilometres, hours and CO2 produced. I would say that they need to fully understand the requirements of their customer um, and, and, and try and look to the future and see what's going to happen. Look at the size of your vehicle fleets today and if there's going to be an expansion is that might affect licence agreements. Make sure that you've got the correct tools. There's a lot of pieces to Paragon if you choose the Paragon solution. Make sure that you've got the right pieces and you've got enough of them. So make sure you're looking at the users within your business. Who's going to use this? What are we going to do with it? Are we just going to use it for daily planning? Do we have a, a department who do strategy modelling? Do we have fleet maintenance and transport guys? Because if we do then they're going to need you know, licences to access the system. So just make sure that you consider everything and you've got everything that you require at the outset. Just something for you know, potential Paragon users, that if, if you use this product, you have this product, you know, don't be afraid of trying new things. Don't be afraid of contacting the guys at Paragon because they're here just waiting to help.